Hi boys and girls, now that you've learned about Kandinsky and learned how to draw different kinds of lines, we're going to combine those lines together to create a line design. I want you to use at least five different kinds of lines. You can use more than that if you want, or you can repeat lines over and over again throughout your design. When you're drawing your lines, please connect them to something. Whether you connect them to the edge of the paper, or you connect them to another line. We don't want a line that's ended like this in the middle of nowhere. So please connect them to something. The reason why we're doing that is so we have different spaces that we will eventually be filling with color. Let's add a, another zigzag. I'm going to repeat my zigzags in this middle space here. It's important that you're not scribbling. We're thinking through our line design as we make it. As you start to draw, you might start to see something in your artwork. If you start to see something realistic, you can continue on with that and turn it into something. I see a little snail here, so I'm going to add a little face to complete my snail. Some empty space is a good thing when you create your artwork. So I like these empty spaces I have here. I'm going to break this up with one more line right there. And I'm going to repeat it over here. Let's count how many lines I have. One, two, three. Oh, different. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five, and I have five. 